Hey everyone, so I thought I should finally try and upload a bookshelf tour. Um, this is very difficult because my laptop has a built-in webcam, so it's not very movable. Um, so I've had to try and commandeer some sort of camera. But here we go. Uh, this is the first of my two bookshelves. Um, and this is actually two mini um, bookshelves DIY'd on top of each other. Thanks to my granddad. Um, okay, now at the top here, I have a load of Nora Roberts books. These are sort of adult shit that, um, uh, something like crime and mysteries and stuff. I've got quite a few of hers, and I've also got three of the books uh, that she writes under a pseudonym for, um, Diddy Rob. Um, and I just read these really for, I don't know. I do like them, I just read them when I feel like something light and not too serious, really. Um, and then I have Sharon Kenyon's books, a few of them. Um, I didn't collect all of her stuff, um, hunters, because there's literally just so many. I pick them up if I can see them in a plant bookstore, sometimes otherwise I get them from the library. Okay, and up in the next shelf, I have, this is basically the LJ Smith shelf, um, apart from the two books on the end. I have a Night World bind up, the fan go, uh, guide for the Night World, um, the Vampire Diaries. I don't think I have all the new ones. I've got up to there and I'm kind of sick of following them all now. Um, the actual Vampire Diary where you write in it to run that lane. Um, Stephen's Diaries, Secret Circle, Dark Visions, Forbidden Games, um, Like the Solstice, Heart for Law, and then I have Chime by Funny Bunny and Everlasting. On the next shelf, is Dice Me by Ian Firm, Dead Beautiful by Von Moon, Angel by Ellie Weatherly in the US, that's Angel Burn, um, Unearthly by Cynthia Han, Taylor by Alexandra Adonato, Starcross by Jason Angelini, Fast and Gothic Fairy, to Smoon Alcalizzi's um, first two in the Perfect Chemistry trilogy, Perfect Chemistry and Rules of Attraction, um, her little series, Leave in Paradise and Return to Paradise, her Ruined series, which she designed, which is amazing. Matched by Ali Condi, Alan the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, and Jane by April Linda. On the next shelf, I have the Moral Instrument, have all of them by Cassandra Clare, and I can't wait for Clockwork Print. Um, and here I just have a section of random paranormal ones, really. Um, Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side, Shade, Beastly, Red Riding Hood. Wake Unto Me by Lisa Catch, which I did start reading, but um, I'm giving that to you, but I will get um, back into reading that now that I kind of have more time on my hands. I wanted fast reads when I was doing my exams, and that was just so. Then I have Falling Under by Gwen Hayes, which is a really strange cover. It's lovely. Okay. Now down here I have my Lara Adrian. Um, they're an adult, strictly adult, um, vampire paranormal series. Okay, then next time I have more and more vampires. One to ten. Two is currently not there. I haven't it yet. Um, I just read it and I've just reviewed it, so it's still on my desk. Um, then I have the first one in the Blue Blood series by Melissa de la Cruz. And I have Rachel Vincent's Stray and Pride. And then down here is another um, adult shelf, really. A Zalini Sing Sai um, Changeling series. Um, then I have J.R. Ward's Novel of the Fallen Angels series and her Black Dagger Brotherhood, as well as the Insider's Guide. And then I have two books by Colleen Gleason um, here, I haven't read them yet, um, as well as two by Laurel K. Hamilton. Okay, on the bottom shelf, and this is going to be really awful because I haven't read most of these. Um, I have read Nevermore by Kelly Cray, amazing, favourite um, read this year. Um, by Miss Knight by Mia James, um, Rebecca Maisel, Infinite Days, Reckless by Cornelia Funk, uh, Hush Hush and Sunday by Becca Fitzpatrick, Mercy by Rebecca Lim, I have read that, and I have read Hush Hush, but the others I haven't read, uh, Fallen by Lauren Kate, I have read that, uh, Torment, Torment by Lauren Kate, uh, I haven't picked that up yet because I found Fallen too traumatising. Um, Firelight by Sophie Jordan, This is Red by Jackson Pierce, Paranormal Sea by Kirsten White, Forsaken the Demon Trappers 
haven't read that yet, all the cursed ones, all the replacements by Brenda Yonahas, and Across the Universe by Beth Rich. I haven't read that yet either. Okay. Now on my other shelf, which is bigger, slightly, Okay, at the top tends to be uh, some crime, I don't read much crime, um, and my classics and my historical romance ones. So up there I've got like James Patterson, which I'm I've not read any of his before, so, um, Patricia Cornwell and Kathy Wright. Um, I've got my Cynic Dictionary and my Mock the Week book. Um, there's Philippa Gregory on the shelf, uh, somewhere, and Suzanne Dunn, those sorts of books. Then I have my classics. I have my Austin, my Austin Pocket Bible. Um, I have like several copies of some books. Um, my Mary Shelley, my Jules Verne, and another copy of Jane Eyre, the original kids back version. Um, an Egyptian Book of the Dead. My dad bought that for me. Um, and these sort of historical romance books. As well as a Mitchell and Webb book. Bones book and a Michael McIntyre biography. I don't normally read all biography, but I love him so much I couldn't resist. And I and I, one of the best books I've ever read. It's just so funny. Um, you know, on the shelf I have lots of crap on my bookshelf as well. Um, a horrible history book. A friend bought that for me. Um, and Enchanted. Unfortunately, it had the movie cover. The movie sucks, but the book is amazing. Please don't be put off by the movie. You have to read the book. That's it. Um, I also have Ferris and Ever by her, and that's Gail Carson-Veen. Ash by Melinda Lowe, haven't read it. Two mangas that I've, uh, I have read, but I haven't continued. I'm Neil Gaiman's Stardust. Um, two, the first two Beautiful Dead series, which I haven't read, Prince of Pride, and he's just not that into you. Um, then I have the Immortal series here. There's no Dark Heart Forever, Frostbitten by Kelly Armstrong, Melissa Mars, but oh, the monkey fell down. Well, go back on. There we go. It'll fall back off again, isn't it? Uh, frame. And um, then I have some sort of um, woman's chiclet in um, Alexandra Potter. And the best one of that is me and Mr. Darcy. It's very funny. Um, Before I Die by Jenny Dana. Uh, My Sister's Keeper, Jodie Pickle. I haven't read that. And then I have Quinn C. Nicholas Sparks. But I think I'm up to date with all of his books, actually. And then down this shelf is basically all my crab up. Um, I just don't have her missing series. But I have Avalon High, both the actual book and the manga series. Um, all of them, basically. They're all excellent. She's all right in I don't have Abandon, in case you're wondering, because it's not yet out over here, and it's heartbreaking, and I am literally just dying to read Abandon, because I love um, Hades and Persephone, so even worth and then here I have a load of Twilight stuff, and I know that it's just commercialism and people getting people to profit off of people's love of the series, but unfortunately I fall for it. Well, I didn't fall for it. I know what I'm doing, but I do it anyway. Um, then along here I just have a load of crystal things, things really, some amethyst and some random rocks, things and stones I find on beaches, desert roses and the like. Um, then I have all, all the Twilight books here, um, as well as the Companion, um, the novella, and the graphic novel, and the director's notebook. Again, I buy everything. I'm terrible. Um, the Illustrated Guide. I didn't pay full price for this because I wasn't stupid enough to. I um, bought it from, like, Asda, which is like Walmart, basically. Um, Finding Sky. Beautiful creatures. Then it's PC Cast. I haven't got a half of night. I've just got her Goddess Summoning and her Goddess of Parker on books. Um, and then Never Bite a Boy on First Date and Kelly Keaton. That has become her. On the next shelf, I have Charlene Harris. Um, I've only read the first one um, and it didn't inspire me to read all the other three. Um, the other night, again, I've only read one of that. I will get around to reading that. Um, Alice Moss, Mortal Kiss, um, Shivering Linger by Maggie Savard. I can't wait for the third one. I also have Lament, but I haven't read that yet. Raised by Wolves and Trial of Fire, 
Nightshade. And then these are like um, adult, um, these Lindsay Satins, uh, they combine uh, vampires and chiclet. They're adult, but they're quite funny. I'm just strictly adult. Then Karen Sparks, they are really quite crap, um, so don't read them. Um, I have the movie cover of Twilight. Uh, some more crappy Karen Sparks. Oh, uh, the Dark Touch novel Shadows by Amy Meredith. Alexandra Harvey, my love life bleeding. I am number four in Hex Hall. And look at that cover of Hex Hall. I got this for like a pound, and everyone really loves this book, but the cover just really puts me off. It really does. I really didn't like that cover. It just looks childish. Um, okay, now here I have Chrissy Cole. Again, she's adult, but she's a really good um, panel writer. Um, I really like her. I have PC Cast sort of adult books there. Um, as well as uh, Kiss of Life by Daniel Waters, which is the second book in after Generation Dead. So I have the um, paperback version. Okay. Um, then I have the Vampire Academy books, and someone that doesn't like them, I have quite a few of them. Um, as well as Eternal and Tantalized by Cynthia Letitia Smith. Um, I tried to read them, I didn't like them. Um, then I have these bind ups um, Prom Nights from Hell, Vacation from Hell, Love is Hell, with. Um, Different authors in. Then I have Kiss by Angel and Cross by Claudia Gray. What am I talking about? It's not Claudia Gray. Elizabeth Chalmers. God, I've seen too many books and now my brain is adult. Um, yeah, Elizabeth Chalmers, Kiss by an Angel um, and Evercross, and also High Dark Secret Trilogy. Then I have Robin McKinley, Beauty and Sunshine, and I didn't like either of those. Um, and then I have Ultraviolet and the Dark Sky. Um, so that is currently all my bookshelf, and I do have Divergent, but I'm currently reading that, so that's not on my shelf. So um, that's been my bookshelf tour, and if it changes rapidly, I will do another one. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy reading.